guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And welcome back. Um, this is part two of my ode to Markiplier. So if you have not seen part one, and if you would like to, I will put a card right over here on the upper right corner. Um, I, you know, sent a little message to Mark, and I just did something really cute for him uh, in the beginning. And also, for people who don't know he is, who he is, you know, I just put a little information, and I think it came out really nice. So if you'd like, you know, go and watch that video. Alrighty, so this is the painting that I made yesterday. Sorry about the light. It's shining on a little bit, but, um... It actually dried really really nice there is a slight bit of texture but nothing crazy and like I said yesterday if there was texture because of that pouring masters paint it's not a bad paint but it's not the best you know but um, I have to say that it dried pretty well and I'm really happy with it and like I said yeah I was gonna use the texture to my advantage um, but it actually dried very well. And these are the gabachons I made. Um, they are not attached. I was just wanting to see how they looked. So they came out kind of pretty. Um, I did get some paint on the tops of them, so I had to kind of scrape that off. I don't know, let me know, guys, how do you not get paint on the tops? Um, but anyway, I, when I did grab it, uh, probably because of the nails, um, my nails are, you know, not real. I just like to have fun sometimes. Anyway, yes, this dried really, really nice, so I'm happy with that. And I may add these. I don't know yet. I just was putting them down to see how I liked it. Because I am going to wait. Um, I am going to lay the, uh, uh, horizontally is where, how this, uh, painting is going to go. Um... Originally, I was going to do it vertically and then have this painting go up this way. And I would have had room for that little circle, but I don't know if I really want to do that. I think there's going to be more than enough stuff on here. I don't want to overload it. And then to start looking crazy. So I am going to start with... You see my little Wilfred Wharf stash, mustache there? So... Today, we're going to do a reverse dip, just like that guy there, the red, black, and gold. And the colors that are associated, even though Mark no longer um, dyes his hair red, we're going to just do a little throwback there to the memories of what he used to. So the colors we're going to use today, uh, we're going to use Primal Flow Titanium White. We're going to use Glam Red. Um, and then I'll just skip over that for a second. For the black, we're going to use Serum Coat. And then we're going to add a little silver. I want to tie it into this painting. So the silver will tie in with this painting here. Okay, and added to these paints is the Primal Flow Metallic Pouring Medium. I know you can barely read it because my bottle is filthy. And also, there is some Floetrol in there as well. Um, there is Floetrol in these two colors, the black and the silver. So I mix the Metallic um, Pouring Medium and some Floetrol in the black and the silver only with a Serum Coat. And then we have the Deco Art uh, Shimmering Silver. That's the correct uh, name of it okay and then on in this I have a little bit left but still last of it and this is really filled I've had this for months um, because I kept on buying paints so this is the because you can't even read it this is the artist love pre-mixed and this is titanium white but I also mixed the last of, I had a metallic white as well in the same brand. So it's mixed in together. There's not a lot left, but it should be more than enough for this guy here. Okay, so I'm going to prime, prime it with that. 
Alrighty. So we do a reverse dip and we're gonna do this guy. And like I show you, I have the gabachon. These I have to clean off a little bit. And then these are gonna be, if you've seen these already, if you've watched my other videos preparing for this, for this video, um, later on, we're gonna add, so in another video, once this is dry, I'm gonna go off on my own. I'm gonna attach it to this painting here, okay? And then in <clears throat> one more video, we're gonna just add on everything that I wanna add on. So I may add the gabachon, um, I'll see how, you know this looks on here and we'll see how it looks and maybe I'll add them maybe I won't it depends because um, I could always use the gabbish those gabbishon for something else and then we're gonna add the M and the, and I mean I am gonna use it as a W for Wilfred Wharfstash go look at my video from yesterday you'll know who he is and then I got a special um, Stencil. Whew. Almost lost my mind there for a minute. <laughs> uh, for Wilfred's mustache. Okay, that's how I made these guys. And we are going to add it onto this painting. But we're going to do all that in one video. Okay, and that's it. And then we'll have the reveal after. And then I was thinking about um, I am probably going to do a short series. On Jacksepticeye because honestly they're both my favorite um, youtubers uh, but I, I have to be honest I do watch mark more but it also depends on the type of game they're playing but when I do when I do Jack um, video and series you'll understand why but yeah I think I'm gonna wait till March because that's st. Patrick's Day and I figured that would be really cool um, so, you know it's it during March it's St. Patrick's Day and uh, if you don't know Jacksepticeye is Irish so I thought that would be kind of cool to kind of honor him around the time of year that is St. Patrick's Day. Okie dokie. So let's get started and let's do this pour for Mark. Okay so reverse dip and these are the colors we're using. As usual, all my materials are in the description. All right, guys, I will be back in a minute.
Hey guys, I am back. So, you know, I just realized that I may, if you're just like kind of watching this video and didn't watch the first one, the reason why I use black and white is for Unas Anas, which if you watched my video yesterday, it is the colors that are associated with Mark's second channel that he does with Ethan from Crank Gameplays. And they use this kind of black and white spiral uh, for their video for their channel. And then of course the red is for Mark's hair that he used to dye his hair red. And I know why he stopped because that was blue. I used to dye my hair that color red and it's a pain in the butt to keep it up and very messy. But anyway, <laughs> so I really love the way this came out. Very similar to that one. Um, you see the silver in there and the cells just are beautiful. I'm glad I used some Floetrol, it really came out nice. Now there's a lot of white down here, which is fine, because remember I'm going to put the M and that, that little blinged out W and then I'm going to do the Wilford Wharf Stash um, stencil down here once this is all dry and once this painting is dry I'm going to attach it to the uh, big guy, alright? So that here, let me just get it real quick. Sorry about that. Here. So, next to my coffee. Okay. So when this is dry, I'm just gonna go off on my own and um, attach it to this guy. Okay, I'll find a nice position for it. And then um, in the next video, we will do all the little embellishments that I um, yeah, that I got for this specific um, series, okay? So that is it for today, guys. I think this week really came out wonderful. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I love it. All right, cool. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Give this video a little like, a little thumbs up. Uh, follow me on social media. All my links are below in the description as well as my materials. And guys, I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to check out Markiplier's um, channel as well. And you'll love it. Believe me. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Bye.